everyone, uh, Janet Stokes has asked me to show how to make this flower. It is a new flower. Um, it is quite easy to make <clears throat> and so that's what I'm going to do. And what you're going to need is uh, some organza. You can use material. You need a stiffish type of material. Just cut. Um, I'm using this six inch wide. You get two flowers out of it. And you need... Um, what did I use in that one? Two, four, six, maybe probably eight. So it's two, four. It'll be any size you need it to be. It doesn't matter. Okay. Take the four pieces. A bit slippery, this stuff. <laughs> okay. So you can get those. Fold them in half. And then all you're going to do is to... I'm going to use my other scissors cut out a circle. If you've got a circle die use that. I I do have one and I'm too lazy to get it out <laughs> just for one flower. So I'm just going to show you like this. Not quite a circle, just cut it into one. Okay, so that's all you need. There's my petals. Take your needle and thread. I'm going to use a white one so you can see. Like that. And what you do across the circle, across the bottom, about a centimetre in, just running, doing a running stitch, just across the bottom section. And that's all you do. Push that and gather it. Take your next one. Do exactly the same and just put all of them on like that. Okay, easy. So quick and so easy. I hope it's not going blurred. I hope it is because I can hear the camera doing something. So it's just a quick running stitch. You can put as many petals on as you wish. I just did a very simple basic flower. <clears throat> oh, I can hear the camera going, so I hope it's it's not blurred. Like that. find the first one you did which is that one and just all you do is you pull them all down like that make sure they're all one way pull your fabric tight and then just give it an over stitch like that Okay, and that gives you your flower. Then what you do is snip that off, sort it out how you want it. Like I say, you can put as many in as you want or as little as you want. I like there to be a fair bit of ruffle in it. So you like that. Just manipulate your petal. And then you just do exactly the same with a smaller one. And then just pop that in the centre. And then to that you can add your centre blings. However you want them. Flower, beads, whatever. But that's the flower. Simple. And it is quite a nice flower. It's quite a wedding-y type flower. Um, and I do like that. So, um, I'm not going to add any more onto mine. Um, I'm going to put a centre in it. Now, let me see. Oops, a daisy. So you could put something like that. Isn't that pretty? Huge, but pretty. <laughs> Just glue that in. Whatever you want to do with them. Um, 
you could do several layers and layer them up. But that's how easy and quick it is. And this was another one I was doing tonight as well. And a smaller one. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, I did do another one. <coughs> or two, did I? Where are they? Yeah, I did this one. And using uh, organs in the bottom and then tool. And then I uh, put some beads together. And then another layer of beads on top. And as you can see, it's 3D. I was just using these little tiny beads. Um, and I made that one. And then I also made that one on its own like that. But put a little bling middle in. Like I did for that one. So there you go. And then you can attach it to one of these. Brilliant idea. Thanks for watching. I'll speak to you soon.